Hello guys, welcome to SSCAcademy.com. So today we are going to see how to use mirror command in Creo. As you can see, I have opened the new part from here. For to understand the mirror command, let's generate one object first. So I have chosen the extrude here. Then we'll do plane selection, then sketch view. And from here, I'm just going to generate a object like a plate. And I'm going to give it a thickness of 10 from here. Then I'm going to keep it both side and press OK. Now I'm going to generate the hole. We'll put it on surface. As we can see the green point here. We'll keep it on plane. And from here we are going to change its diameter from 2. Then we are going to change each and, each and every option and uh, press OK. Then we'll press OK. As you can see, just like that, I have generated one hole. Whenever, if you want to generate any mirror object, Uh, from here the editing tools you can see the mirror options So first of all uh, the object where you want to do a mirror effect you need to select that Then we'll choose the mirror And uh, we need to select the plane from here As you can see I have selected the plane and give ok as you can see, uh, on the same distance from the plane, the object has been generated. So just like that, I'm going to generate one object. Okay. And we are going to take a height of 10 from here. Then okay. Again, we are going to select it. Then we'll select mirror. Then plane selection. Okay. As you can see, just like that, mirror has came. There are so many options in mirror. Let's see them. So, just like that, I'm going to generate a hole again. As you can see, uh, I haven't threw out this hole and uh, we are just going to select the hole then we'll do the mirror. As you can see, the uh, as like mirror works, the object, uh, the same object has been generated here. In, uh, in some cases, uh, like uh, we have, if we have created any error by mistake, so if you will do the change in the one object, the another object will also get changed. So you don't need to do work hard for the changing the errors in mirror. It's a nice thing of that. So from here we are going to change the diameter. We need to double click that. So you can change each and every parameter of this object from here. So if we will change this object, so the mirror object will also get changed. You can see. So I'm going to change the height also from here. So as you can see, if I'm changing it here, so this is also getting changed. Uh, okay, uh, let me show you what if you wanted to do changes in the one object but you have used mirror or you don't want to change do changes in any another object. So in that condition what you need to do I'm going to show you here. Again we are going to select the hole. So here the from any like way you have generated the mirror you can take the object.
so we are going to select this all and again select the mirror so whenever you will select the mirror plane so whenever if you wanted to do change in the object but you don't want to change the another object created from the mirror so for, for that we need to get into the option so uh, from that uh, dependent copy you can see that option you need to deselect that then we'll press ok so from here if you are making any changes in your object but your mirror object will not get even a single changes or kind of updation in that you can see the changes here So just like that you can select the mirror and use it. So you can generate it from the remove material and extrude also. So just like that I am making the round edge. So from here I am going to select the radius of 5. Then we are going to select the round and mirror it. So just like that you can use the mirror. Thank you guys.